All right, guys, time to do a little bit of maintenance. And what we're going to do is we are going to repack the Bafang motor with grease. So stick around and let's get into how we do that. Okay, guys, like I said, and you're going to have to excuse me if I start to cough on trying some cough drops here. I've just had a cough from some allergies and stuff, so we'll may have to cut that out here and there. But like I say, when we were on our road trip, I noticed that the motor was getting a little bit loud. And so it's time to repack that with grease. Actually, it's past time to repack that with grease. It should have been done about a thousand miles ago. So we're gonna get that taken care of today. First thing we wanna do, get the battery off of the bike. All right, and then we're going to come in here and we're going to put this in one of our higher gears and I'm going to take off the chain ring cover. Now to do that, I've already taken a couple of the screws out of here, but I've got to turn the wheel to where we can get in from this side and take off the cover. And I've got a little magnetic tray here. <coughs> from Harbor Freight that hopefully we won't lose any parts. And I believe that's all of them. That is. Now, as another disclaimer, I am not a mechanic nor do I play a mechanic on TV. Where'd that come from? But matter of fact, this crank puller, I never even owned one, never knew how to use one before this, turning this into an e-bike project took place. But that's the next thing we've got to do is we're going to take off the crank pedal here. We'll see how tight that is. That's not too bad. This is a project that, uh, like I say, I'm not a mechanic, but I'm pretty mechanically inclined. I work on a lot of equipment. And so it's not that I don't have any knowledge of mechanics, but I'm certainly not a mechanic. And if I can do this, chances are pretty good you can probably do it as well. It's always a good idea to wear gloves. And so we'll go ahead and throw them on. And this just kind of threads in there. I did lay out what I believe I'm going to need ahead of time as far as tools. And you might have to crank that thing pretty good until it gets started a little bit. And then it'll get easier and easier to crank. And all we're doing is pulling off the pedal arm. There we go. So now that is off. <clears throat> now our chain ring is off. Now, I'm not sure what size this is, so we'll have to find an Allen wrench for that. That might be it. Boy, that was a lucky guess. Now, I believe I will take off the chain here and I did put the bike into an upper gear so that it would be a little bit easier to reinstall the chain would not have as much tension on it
Those are a little bit snug, but not terrible. I also have a spacer behind these. Well, this. And it was a great investment because what I did when I first did this is the chain ring was hitting the chain stay a little bit. And so to remedy that, I took some brass washers and grind down one side of them and I tell you what that was a pain to put on and there is our chain ring now we want to take out these screws here I may be able to leave the spacer on there again we're putting all of these parts into a little harbor freight magnetic tray so that we don't lose them Okay, we're down to the last one. Take that spacer off. And let's see what we have in here. Okay, it definitely looks like it could use some more grease. So I'm going to get a couple paper towels to clean off the outside of this. And then we're going to grease this up. So we went ahead. We're just using premium high temperature grease. And we're just going to try and pack it. All inside of here. We're just going to keep going around here a little bit, just packing a little bit more in at a time. We'd like to have it really filling up all of those gaps. This is going to be similar on most of your mid drives. Oh, there might be some of them that the gears will come out. But most of your mid drives are going to be similar to this.
pretty good there. <coughs> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a little bit of that grease. on the outside here of the cup uh, a little bit proud of the gear and there we go and we are repacked right there Now I am going to see if I can clean off the rim here just a little bit without pulling away too much of that grease. And we'll have to go through after I have ridden for a little while. I'll need to go back through and check these screws that we're about to put on here again. But it's not a problem because we can do it with everything in place. Now we're going to clean this cover up a little bit. We don't want that dirt down in there, that's for sure. So, we're pretty clean on this. Just think maybe I could pack a little bit more grease in there, but I think we're okay. So now we're going to set this back on. And we're going to start dropping these tiny little screws back in. And I'm going to do somewhat of a star pattern here. As you can see, this is actually a pretty easy job. So, we've got all them screws in now. We're going to go ahead and snug them up. And you don't want to torque these things like they're no there's no tomorrow you know that's a a plastic cover and so we're just getting them in there snug and we'll walk around to make sure we got everything one time and again, I'm going to recheck these once everything is back together after I have ridden for a bit. What did I do? There's my other glove. Them little tiny screws on my big fat fingers. I went ahead and changed, pulled these gloves off for those. We're going to wipe off our Spacer here. I believe this is a uh, two millimeter spacer. And we'll wipe off that area right there. Yeah, this was very, I can feel a little bit of grit on that. And so we're going to make sure that's wiped off. A little bit better but this was a very difficult thing to do with just the little washers because you get one in but then that next one would give you an issue the chain ring I've got two of these I've got I believe this is a 46 and the other one that I have is 44. Maybe this is 48. 
but it's in surprisingly good shape. I hear a lot of people talk about how hard these mid drives are on your drive system, and I just haven't found that to be the case. And like I said, I am not a cyclist, but I do know how to change the gears and when I should be changing the gears, and I'm sure that helps. But as you can see, there's not a tremendous amount. There's a little bit of wear. I'll need to probably, oh, I'm going to say about another, I could get another thousand miles out of this chain ring right here. I don't know if I'll ask it to get that many, but I know I could get that many. Well, no, I think I could get that many. Well, we've got our spacer in with that spacer going all the way around. That's a whole lot easier than them washers because we had to grind down one corner of them. And then we had to use tweezers to set them behind there with everything loose. And you had to keep that grinded part up against the hub. It was pretty tough, I will admit. That was about $4 or so that was money well spent. Okay. Again, we're going to star pattern. When we put this, tighten everything down on this. And what I mean by a star pattern is you're going to go from one across, then from one across. And that way what happens is you're not cranking down on one corner of the... Uh, of whatever it is you're doing you know I learned that way back when we had to change tires on cars all right so there's that now we're gonna put the chain ring back on There we go. Now that's on. Now the only thing left to do is to put our guard back on here. We're going to give one more check of everything here. Well, no, I guess we should put the pedal back on too. Now these screws, we want to have them good and tight because if we are using the chain ring guard, we would not be able to access those screws. And so you want to have those in pretty securely. lose that screw but let's get this thing situated there we go that one's barely catching there there we go now I got to where I can put it in there straight all right so I'm going to go around and get the rest of these on So we have finished up putting the chain ring on. Now we just need to tighten this down and don't put it like this where you have to pedal this way. You want to make sure you're opposite of where the other side is. And you can just tap it on. But what's going to tighten it down, you don't have to sit there and beat it on. Because what's going to tighten it down, I should have had my gloves on for this. 
what's going to tighten it down is that bolt right there. That's going to tighten it in. So there's no sense in beating on it. Now, what you want to make sure you don't do is leave that too, too loose because you're actually pressing that crank arm on there. And so you don't want to just, just get it snug. That's for sure. So that's put up. These tools here are put up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to crank this thing around a little bit to get it back through some gears. There we go. We're going through our gears just fine. So we're good to go there. Now let's see, and you know I really should have done this on film beforehand what I'm about to do now because it was getting a little bit loud because that was getting a little dry in there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just run this through some gears here. I probably should have recorded this ahead to show you the, the difference. It was getting a little bit loud. I don't know if I can even tell the difference because I didn't do this. But I can tell you it seems pretty pretty quiet. That should go on its own. That's my cruise control. Once them pedals are moving, it's not going to come out. Yeah, that's much, much quieter than what it was. Yeah, that's a lot better than what it was doing. And everything is shifting relatively smooth. So, I am going to call that a wrap. Uh, their internet, we've got everything back up and running a I believe it's going to be a little quieter. That is going to be known when we take off from here in just a few minutes. But uh, that's the way you do it. It's really not a difficult job. Like I say, I am not a mechanic. Uh, I'm kind of mechanically inclined. But if anybody has done any kind of messing around with tools or any kind of equipment, you can do this. This is not difficult to do. You just pack it in with some fresh grease. And that should be done about every 1,000 miles. Like I say, we've got 2,000 here we haven't done it. My bad. I should have done it earlier. But that's going to wrap it up for them right here back in North Carolina. Hey, this is Southern E-Biking telling you, stay safe, God bless, and keep the wheels rolling. Once again, we're out.